I do like the bleep that tells you when it's done so that if you've wandered off or not paying attention to your resin, you know to come back and pour. Hey, uh, welcome back to my channel. It's Wendy here from Team Fish Crafts and I hope you're doing okay. Recently, Astoyo contacted me and asked me if I'd like to try their new mixer. Now it's been upgraded, it has new features, and I jumped at the ch chance because it also has a stand. So I'm gonna be checking out Astoyo's new mixer and I'm so excited to do that. I love trying out new things, don't you? This is Astoyo's brand new mixer. It's very similar looking to the previous mixer, but it's been upgraded. I always find that Astoyo products are very well packed. To start with, you get the information leaflets. And don't forget, I have a 15% discount code that's on the screen and also in the description box below. There's an Allen key, now that's for the stand. And as I said, the mixer looks very similar but it doesn't take batteries. This new upgraded version is a rechargeable and honestly, that couldn't come quick enough for me. I hate putting batteries in things. I just like to charge them up and know I can charge them up whenever I want to. You also get four paddles. That's an upgrade. And there's two big ones and two little ones. Now, obviously I'm doing this talk over after the fact, but I was quite surprised what was in this little box. And this is the stand. Seems very straightforward. You get the silicon mat to go on the stand and the stand is actually really quite heavy. So that's good. You certainly don't want it toppling over when you're mixing resin, do you? Putting it together is just one screw in the bottom of the stand plate that you do up tightly with the Allen key. Very straightforward. Once it's nice and tight, then you put the silicon mat on top and your mixer sits in the stand. Now I'm going to charge this up. I have a USB extension lead, so I'm just doing it in front of the camera for you. Honestly, I left it for a couple of hours and it was fully charged. I don't think it takes long at all. And once it's fully charged, you can see it has three different speeds. It has a forward and reverse button. And it also has an AI. Now to start it, you actually need to hold the on button for a couple of seconds to get it to work. I hadn't read the instructions at this point. And to get the AI to work, the machine has to be turned on. Changing the paddles is just a case of pulling them out. They are a bit stiff to start with, but I'm sure they will wear in as time goes on, the more I use it. And the large paddle is actually really quite large. And when changing the paddle size, you unscrew the back and lift the arm up so that it will take the larger one. Now I needed a project. And I decided to get out the Stoyo chest set. I'm going to be using a Stoyo resin. Again, the 15% code is on your screen. And I'm going to make up roughly 200 mil of a Stoyo resin. I made sure it's sitting underneath the arm. I've set how high the arm needed to be so that the paddle was just off the floor when the cup was under it. So that the paddle's at the bottom of the cup, but not touching it. And the resin is completely over the top of the paddle. For some reason, it took me a little while to figure out how to press the AO button this time. But when I got it, I could just walk away basically. So I picked up my mobile phone and gave you some shots so that you could see it better. Once it's all mixed up, I added some black pigment to it. This is Vista Black Pigment. I always use Vista Black Pigment. It's beautiful, silky black. And the link for that will be in the description box below. And I'm filling up a needle top bottle. It's quite a large one. I think it's 50 mil, bigger than the average size. And the reason I'm doing this is because these types of moulds are notorious for keeping bubbles in right angles. And there's so many right angles. 
Now this did take a long time. I should not have made 200ml resin because at this point it was getting quite warm. And Istoyo resin is not a thin resin, so it was difficult to squeeze out of the needle top bottle. I ended up by pulling the needle top out and just using the bottle. It made it so much quicker. After doing just a few, I realised that I really need to get on and pour some of this large bulk into the chest pieces. So using the needle top bottle, because I only want this resin to be two thirds of the way up the mould, I'm going to have a different colour at the base. So I don't want resin too high up, but I'm showing you here the bubbles. Can you see the clear area? That there is a bubble. Now you need to get those out. These are not going in my pressure pot. This black resin is not going in my pressure pot. So I squeeze the mould, see the air, float to the top, let the bubble pop, and then I can let go. And I do the same for all of the chest pieces. And then I go back and finish off the chessboard. The following day, I can carry on with my make. And when I can remember how to push the buttons, I forget sometimes. I'm old, I forget very easily. You need to hold the on button for two seconds for it to start. To get the AI button to work, you just press it while the machine has started. It then goes in forward and reverse from time to time and carries on for four minutes before it finishes. And this time I'm going white. Surprise, surprise. I wanted a traditional chessboard this time, but traditional with a slight twist. Now, because it took me so long to do the black, I decided to do the white this way. Just pouring in a little bit in the middle and then using a micro brush to go around the outside. This was actually more tedious because I had to wipe down all the bits that I went over the edge with. And I ended up more bubbles with this as well. But there was only three. Moving on to the second part of the pieces, I'm just going to add some starry sky purple to the clear resin. This will just give me a purple tint. It comes from Inter Resin and their link will be in the description box below for this color. It's like their non-sync Aurora, but in a liquid form. And to be honest, this is the first time I've tried it. So I just wanted to add it into the base and see what we get with the clear resin. It was very pale, so I put quite a bit in. I do have a discount code for Interresin as well, and that will be in the description box below, together with the link for this pigment. And I just filled up the bases of all the little pieces in this colour. These did go in my pressure pot. When you've got clear resin, it's always best, if you don't want any bubbles at all, to put it in a pressure pot. And I have one, so I use it. That colour makes this look like a little galaxy now. So it's really, really sweet. So the following day I can demould. Now I'm not going to put you through every piece of this because it can get quite monotonous as you can imagine. But I just wanted to show you how easy they were and how sweet they came out. I love the fact that the solid black is on the top and you've got the purple clear at the bottom so that when you put it on a chessboard that's either black or white, it will look different. And I also wanted to show you the knight. I think that is the most adorable little knight I've ever seen. So these are all the chess pieces that you can cast in one go, the entire half set. So you've only got to cast them twice if you do one solid colour. None of this taking three months to make or having to stick them back to back. They're all there. I must admit, it is appealing to me to be able to set this up and just to walk away for four minutes. I can search the internet, I can take my gloves off, I can go to the loo if I want. I've got freedom for four minutes while this is mixing. Now it is also important to scrape the sides of any cup that has been mixed with a mixer. 
Again, I'm going to be using the Starry Sky colorant, which is in purple. I'm also going to be using the Starry Sky colorant that's in red. And this is going to be one of the layers on the chessboard itself. I want to kind of match them in. Now, I was, <laughs> I had no clue how much resin I needed. And honestly, I was way short. I ended up having to make another 200 mil, but that little mixer did me proud. So when I'd made up the correct amount of resin, then I poured it in the diagonal on the back of the chessboard. And using the heat gun, I warmed up the resin and pushed it around so that it would get into all those little areas, the corners, and just sit nicely. It'll also get rid of those bubbles too. When you're using a thicker resin, it does act differently. And this will give me a definition, a line between the two colors. It doesn't merge together like a thin resin would. And I just love it. When I'm happy that it's bubble free, I give it a good squirt of isopropyl alcohol so any subsequent bubbles will just dissipate. And I just wanted to show you those beautiful colours. They are so different on black and white surfaces. Absolutely stunning. With the last layer of the chessboard, I'm pulling out the big guns. I am making eight ounces with the large paddle. And this time I thought I'd just try a normal silicon cup that I would use. And as you can see in the background, I made the other chess pieces white and red, but it works perfectly well in a silicon cup as well as a plastic cup. It just works. You can walk away. And I didn't recharge it once during this whole chess set. It still had lots of juice. I do like the bleep that tells you when it's done so that if you've wandered off or not paying attention to your resin, you know to come back and pour. Once it's done, I just let it drip onto the silicon tray and I can clean that up later. And they clean really easy, I must say. Make sure I stir the cup and I add my black pigment for the background color. And then I pour it on. This is actually the last bit of resin I have, so I can't make any more resin. And it was just enough. It didn't go up as high as I wanted it to, but it covered it, so it was fine. I spread it all out and made sure the corners didn't have any air pockets. And then I sprayed it with isopropyl alcohol and I covered it so that it didn't get any plastic bags falling in it like I've done before. So when it was cured, look at the shine on that resin. You can see the chess pieces beautifully, absolutely stunningly gorgeous resin. But what do I think of the mixer? Well, I think you can tell right the way through this video how much I enjoyed the fact that I could just walk away while the resin was mixing. I made up quite a bit for this chess set over several days. It never needed charging once. It worked perfectly well. It cleaned up beautifully and it doesn't take any batteries. I think that's the main thing that I like about it. It's rechargeable. By the way, it says in the instructions that the AI feature is for beginners. I don't consider myself a beginner, but I definitely use the AI function. It was great for me. Don't forget I have a 15% discount code for Istoyo. It's not 10, it's 15 and I'm very proud of that. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making the chess set and I think it's one of the most beautiful ones I've made, even though it was quite basic. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much, Ristoyo, for letting me try out your new mixer. I hope this video has shown you what it's like and their chess set is absolutely beautiful. The pieces are gorgeous. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this video. Come back and see me next week because you never know what I'm going to be up to. I never know what I'm going to be up to. Have a great week, happy Easter, and bye for now.